Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a sales order in MYOB Advanced. The sales order screen is typical of many of the record entry screens in MYOB Advanced, so once you're familiar with it, you'll find it easy to navigate other screens in the Advanced interface. You can open the sales order screen from the sales orders workspace. Because the MYOB Advanced interface is completely customizable, your menu may look different. But in any case, you can find the sales order window by using the universal search function at the top of all screens. As with most MYOB Advanced screens, when you first open the sales order screen, it displays a list of existing documents that you can filter or search. To create a new order, click the New button in the main toolbar. By default, the order type is set to SO for sales order. There are a variety of different order types for quotes, cash sales and so on, but for a standard sales order we can stick with the default. Use the Customer field to enter or search for the customer that the order is being made for. The location will be filled in by default, although you can change it if you need to. You can also enter a description, an order number and a customer reference code, but these are all optional as well. You can now add line items to the sales order. Click the Add button, select the stock item to add, and set the quantity. The default branch will be selected. If you're operating with multiple branches, you can choose a different one if you want. You can select the stock item by typing part of its name into the field, or by clicking the magnifying glass button to open a search window. You can also add lines for multiple items at once using the Add Stock Item button. Tick the boxes for each item you want to add, and enter quantities. A separate line is created for each item, and you can then go through and edit them further if you need to. Once all lines have been added, you can save the order. You'll see that an order number is assigned once it's saved. To begin with, the order is in the hold status. While it's on hold, you can continue to edit it and add, remove, or reorder lines. To process the order further, you'll need to take it off hold. You'll probably want to send a copy of the sales order to the customer. You can select Print Sales Order from the Reports drop-down to generate a PDF copy of the order, which you can print out and send to the customer. Or you can select Email Sales Order from the Actions menu to email a copy of the order to the email address set up for the customer. And that's the end of our look at creating sales orders. If you want to learn more, visit the MYOB Advanced Education Center or see the other videos in our Advanced Academy series for information on the next steps in the sales process. Thanks for watching.